Uh, mixed emotions, really, at the moment. Sadness. Um, you know, I'm grateful for the time we've had with the European Union. Um, but our campaign has changed. It's not a question of if we rejoin the European Union. It's just a question of when. How many years will it be? Um, yeah, sadness. Uh, you know, we've got our event over there today. Party like there's no tomorrow. Uh, an app name. But I found my niche here at Parliament in the summer of 2017, and it's been a roller coaster. At first, you know, there was it was like 50-50 hatred, support, abuse, but each one drove me on to be there more. So it was a win-win for me, and uh, the Remain movement here in Britain is the biggest pro-European movement anywhere in, in Europe. Um, well, we, uh, we, it's, uh, it's a get-together. We will be successful, but people need to see what we've lost. I, I don't think people appreciated the full extent of the European Union and what it was about and where we actually fitted into that project. Uh, you know, originally it was a peace project and uh, we've had more peace in Europe in the last 70 years than we have in the previous 2000 put together. So it has worked. Right, so I'm going to staple some of that on the floor down there. Um, we're going to hold this government to account. So it's about accountability, showing their broken promises, because, you know, I mean, people that voted to leave, uh, like I said, most deprived areas voted to leave. These people were given hope and something to believe in. But they were given lies. And the thing about him, which is really irritating, he never sits down, he never takes a break, um, and you know, he, he even eats and drinks standing up all the time. Um, and no one can keep up with him. He's, he's you know, he's, he's the, uh, the Duracell bunny. <laughs> well, I, th I think he's he's been very effective in keeping the Remain light shining over the last two and a half years that he's been here. Um, I think without this protest outside Parliament, which he started basically on his own, um, holding this 
Parliament to account has become something that this protest has been well known for. And now that we haven't got a, a, an effective opposition as such, the fact that he's still coming here on a Wednesday for, for parliamentary uh, questions for PMQs, uh, just to remind Mr Johnson, our Prime Minister, that you know, the whole country is not united. Yeah. I've got, I've got my